Good morning everyone, it's Thomas Harv Glubovic here again and welcome to my next video on doing a uh, plant project inside the AEC collections utilising as much of the products inside the AEC collections as we can. So over the last few weeks we've done some pin IDs, we've done some plant models, we've done equipment inside plant, we've done uh, some piping and obviously as part of this video we've done some plant structure which we've subsequently uh, pushed out to advanced steel. So this one's just going to be a quick little video showing uh, how to create uh, some structure or even just some, some basic elements in here. So we do already have these elements and you can see there are some connections. But just to give a refresher, uh, I want to put some, some shear plate or fin plate connection uh, on there. So I've, I've gone through in my library here and, and pulled up shear plates. So call up the command, look at the, the command line down the bottom. So select the main beam, which is the vertical beam press enter, select the secondary beam, press enter, and then we get our fin plate option there. So for horizontal bolts, I like having two in there just because, uh, and for the vertical, I like placing it in the middle. So we're all good there. So again, just to show you that, vertical, horizontal, two, and for the vertical bolts, we place it in the middle, and then there you go. So you can go through and group these. Maybe that's something we can have a look at in uh, later videos. So if we want to add a little bit more detail to this, so I want to put a staircase from grid 3A up to uh, 2A on the second level. So I just look at my home tab and I go to the straight stair function. So what is it going to be? Is it start and end point? So which is yes. So I'll go zero. And then this, the first point is end, and then the second point is end of grid two. Now I'm not doing it left or, or middle or right, so I want left, as, and that's zero. And then what event still is going to do is going to model in the stairs, and you can see we've got that top platform here, so I can go to the landings. So I can say for the top landing, I can turn that option off. So again, you can see it won't put... Um, the front or the rear uh, structure in there for that landing because we've already got it as part of the structure. Now, obviously, uh, I can go through and clean all of this up and, and put in some, some connections as well, but that's basically doing some stairs. Now, if you're in Australia, there is options for doing monowheels. So we go to the extended modeling tab and under the, the fly out here, we place monowheels uh, handrail on it. So I put it on the, the front beam there that I want. So I'm going to connect from that grid over to this grid here. And then if I zoom out, then you can see there we have our monorails, uh, monorails options. And also so under the, the segments here, you've got all of the different uh, closure types, bolts, uh, or even adjusting each of the individual segments themselves. And if you wanted to do normal handrails from the advanced steel, Library, so again, same thing, I can just come back, first point, second point. Now, do I want nosing level? No, not interested. And then you can see there we have our uh, options. Now, we've got post fixing, so I know by default this one has come in uh, with no fixing on it, but I'm going to do a plate with bolts. And then you can see as you change uh, the values in here, then obviously the values change on the model as well. So everything is is relatively easy and simple uh, in regards to, to setting this up. So um, what else can we put in here? So if we look at the, the home tab, um, I'm not gonna do any plate, but I do want um, some standard grating. I've got variable grating or I've got bar grating. So maybe I'm just gonna put in some standard grating up the top level here. So the grading's center point, so that could be anywhere. So I might put it in the middle uh, of this beam here. And then you can see, so this has highlighted a good thing with, with advanced steel. So I've got my UCS at the bottom corner here. So, and the grating's been placed at that bottom corner. So I'm going to erase that, move the UCS up to this level here and stick it at the end of this grid. And just leave it and now if I do the, uh, the grading option again go to the mid then you can see it puts it according to the UCS so if you do get some 
some issues with where things are being placed just double check that your UCS is in the right spot so I can I can now uh, start doing some cutouts I can start uh, maybe arraying this as I see fit um, and then just to show you so let's put in um, let's put in some grating on this second level here just uh, via the variable grating function so again don't forget change your UCS to the level to the level that you're working on and I'm going to go from this end here over to this one out here which is just somewhere in there okay and you can see it's placed in a web forge and now we have our grating as well so again lots of different options uh, for, for placing different uh, entities in here in regards to to sort of this this kind of project as well um, there is cladding I'm not really fussed on doing any cladding on this job obviously and I've also got a cage ladder actually that could be interesting to show you too so if we wanted to do a cage ladder so I've now this again will highlight with my UCS so I've got the UCS at the normal position so if I do a cage ladder so if I say it's from the midpoint uh, of this beam here so the ladder height will go down to the floor okay now it's going according to the Y as well Okay, so if I switch to my top view, it's placed in the Y direction. So again, you just have to keep in mind um, of your UCS. Now, under your advanced tool palette, under the UCS icon, you can rotate the UCS around the X, the Y, uh, or the Z. So if I do it around the X, you can see that it's using the X as your pivot. Okay, if I do it around the Y, it spins around. If I do it around the Z, then it spins around the Z. So if you look at the bottom left hand, now I want my Y facing out. So if I go through the ladder command again, so let's do the ladder from the midpoint of here, down to that line, and then you can see the ladder is rotated in the right position as well so again I can go through and make some changes to that if I double click on the macro box there then you can see that we have the different options for the ladder itself height extension width what the different sections are so this one uh, I can go through and just do some changes later I've got wall connection options so section folder plate or even plate so if I got a section in there that will define how it's connected and you can see here in my model now I have some connections in here so maybe I need to put some posts down maybe I'm just not going to worry about it because uh, according to the height it's fine so you have different cage types so we have type 1 which is square type 2 which is round type 3 which sort of finishes it off different so again compared to to whether uh, those bars are and then round type 4 is, is that type so there are four types in there uh, you've got again just a whole bunch of different options in there now as well so I think for now that's kind of short and sweet showing you how to create some some more structure inside advanced steel now for people who sort of might have some doubts about it I'm going to just close this model off and save it and then get out of advanced steel completely so I've loaded up plant 3d so while that loads I can load up my YouTube project which I've got and if I load up uh, let's say my piping model and if we go back and xref in our advanced steel model xref into current drawing overlay 001 it's all good and again same thing if I switch it to realistic or shaded then you can see there 
maybe under shaded. There you go, it's a little bit nicer. You can see we have uh, all of our structure starting to come through. So again, uh, it'll be up to you to work out how to do it, but ultimately if you want the events to your stuff to appear in Plant 3D Orthos, then you'll need to keep it as part of the project. So thanks a lot for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, and feel free to subscribe. Uh, and I will see you with next week's video next Monday. See ya.